Okay, so bone tumors uh, are tumors that are present in bones, and they can either be uh, tumors that have arisen in the bone, that's very rare, which is something that I specialize in, and I'm well uh, renowned around the world for treating. And these tend to be very rare. There's only about 450 a year in the UK. However, the other types of uh, secondary or malignant metastatic bone tumors are tumors that arise in another organ, say the breast or the lung or the bowel, and then spread to the, uh, the bones. These are uh, much more common and can be very uh, debilitating uh, when patients have a lot of pain and therefore uh, need some kind of replacement to, to help them get back to do the things they want. There are lots of benign bone tumours which cause some worry, some of which need treating, some of them just need to make sure that they're not a malignant bone tumour. Unfortunately, nine times out of ten when I see a patient, it's not a malignant tumour and it's a great source of relief to them to know that it's not a cancerous tumour. So often I'm asked what causes uh, my tumour and often the answer is that we don't know. Sometimes there's a past history of a cancer somewhere else such as in the bowel or the lung uh, which has spread to another place but quite often um, there is no cause uh, for their tumour if it's a benign tumour or if it's a, a primary bone tumour or a tumour that arises in bone uh, primarily. There are some risk factors such as radiotherapy and there are some um, inherited conditions that can cause it. But most of the time, we don't really know why the tumour has arisen in the bone. I'm often asked um, how long my tumour has been there and it's almost impossible to say how long it's been there. But we do have patients that we can have uh, images or x-rays on that show the tumour has been there for a very long time and sometimes it comes very quickly. Most patients uh, who have a tumour will notice pain in their leg uh, or arm depending on where it is and uh, sometimes they'll feel a swelling or a mass um, and sometimes that will be tender but quite often a patient will notice that they have a lump and they may be limping and they have some pain. So the symptoms of bone tumours are often um, a mass or a lump or just pain in the affected bone. The things that we uh, should watch out for or we take seriously is if they, the bone is hurting um, at night time or not when we're not putting any pressure on it. That's what we call non-mechanical pain. And we have to be especially worried about weight loss, uh, loss of appetite and general fatigue, which can be more general symptoms of a, uh, an underlying growth. So the most common types of primary bone cancer or cancers that arise in bone is a tumour called an osteosarcoma. Uh, this affects about 150 people a year in the UK. Um, the second most common is something called a chondrosarcoma, which affects a similar number of people, which is a cartilage tumour uh, in the bones. But by far the most common tumours in the UK are secondary cancers, so uh, metastatic disease from breast, um, kidney, lung uh, or bowel. And then we have some tumours which arise in the bloodstream, such as myeloma or lymphoma. And we see, unfortunately, quite a lot of those tumours as well. So bone tumours, when we get the diagnosis, is a very worrying time. In the days gone by, it used to represent a very poor prognosis. But nowadays, I'm glad to say that most patients who have a, a bone tumour can be cured from their disease. And sometimes we need to use chemotherapy. Sometimes we need to use radiotherapy. But virtually always we need an operation to remove the tumour. 
and depending where the tumour is, we'll need to remove that section of bone and put it back together again with some kind of joint replacement. Um, we're very fortunate nowadays that we can replace just about any bone in the body uh, with a custom made um, uh, 3D printed uh, joint replacement.